Okay, valve train vlogging part two. Uh, the last video ended and I was perplexed. I finally figured out what happened. Um, I just wanna go ahead and put out the educational part now in case someone is frantically looking through YouTube trying to figure out why only one side of their uh, lifters is getting oil but the other side doesn't get as much. <clears throat> so the reason is, and so I'm holding two things in one hand. There's a, I think this is an eighth inch NPT uh, pipe thread pipe plug that was not in the uh, in the engine so if you have let's say your driver's side lifters aren't getting a, a ton of oil towards the end of them like the, the further forwards you go they get less and less oil you might be missing this plug a way you can check pull your distributor out and look at about the 12 o'clock maybe the 12 30 position and if you're like me and you didn't have this plug in that's why Unfortunately, you have to pull the um, timing cover and the timing chain to get to that plug. On the passenger side, I'm sorry, let me back up. This is the driver's side plug, it's actually threaded. On the passenger side, for those uh, lifters, you have this little press-in deal. I'm so smart that I pressed in the passenger side, but I never screwed in the driver's side. So now the vlog starts. All right, we got the no car garage just about ready to put a car in it. We already got a boat. They can't see now. Okay, so one of the issues I had was I couldn't figure out which way the oil flows. It flows from the back uh, to the fore front on both sides. I can show you on this side. There we go. You can see how it. Can I see that oil flow? I can go to the other side and show you the same thing. So you can see that it starts in the back and works its way forward on both banks. Okay, so this was the issue the whole time. This little plug never got installed into, let's see if we can see it. Oh, that light's about to fall on me. Into there, you can't really see it too well. There you go. You can see that hole. Um, that's why that lifter that would be right here. Would never, wait, where are we at? Yeah, sorry, right here. The lighting is terrible in here, I apologize. There we go. That lifter would always bleed off because of the hole that is right here. Where are we at? Somewhere in the Ford Galaxy. There we go. Okay, that hole goes to that lifter. No bueno. To that lifter bore, sorry. This is this is tough stuff. At any rate, that's why that original lifter failed. It was not the lifter's fault. It was my fault. Alright, so you can see that silver plug, it's in. And I just gave the, just, um, the oil pump the spin and we can now see that the oil comes out of that. Let me turn this light off. We can now see the oil comes out of this. Awesome. All right, time to put the timing chain back on. T chain is on. We'll go ahead and clean up the gaskets now. Okay, so me and my brother are also timing chain brothers because we're doing timing chains the same day. But um, he mentioned in his last video, I mentioned it sometimes, studs for everything. All right, look at this. That number five exhaust finally flows oil. Beautiful. Once again, the car's back together. Let's see if it fires up. And hopefully we have no leaks. All right, look at all the oil in that stud. We'll go ahead and fire it up real quick. You can see the oil flow right out of that little orifice right there. Okay, so it has only been a week 
since I pulled the Mustang in here uh, to start pulling the intake and the timing cover and look how cluttered the garage can get in just one week. Funny story about this, uh, I ordered a weight set and they sent uh, Amazon sent us a, a mailbox instead. Uh, it's been a crazy week though. Our family car, I uh, thought we lost it, but the um, upper radiator hose got a hole in it. You might be able to see it again. Lighting is horrible in this garage. There we go. You can kind of see that hole. And uh, hot coolant sprayed on the battery and it took the battery out too. So it was kind of perplexing, but we got it figured out. Uh, we're going to wrap up this valve train video though. Okay, so just a quick review. Without this plug installed, all that excess oil was getting on the timing chain. And I'm sure it loved it. And then the, uh, the distributor gear said, hey, I'd like some of that oil. And then the cam gear, I'm sure, said, hey, I'll take some of that oil too. And <laughs> this did not make that lifter very happy. And it is ultimately the reason it failed. Not, not to mention me um, thinking that there was trash in this lifter. And I kept on putting excessive preload on it. And then hardly any preload. And then uh, I pretty much made sure that this lifter um, uh, failed. I'm keeping it in case maybe one day I can resuscitate it. But... Another funny little story, right after the um, right after I changed the lifters, or, or I was ordering the, the, this other pair, I was going to leave a scathing review on Summit uh, about these, saying you know it's not a good sign when you only have to buy a pair of lifters, and you know all this other stuff. But um, the, the lifters weren't faulty; it was just my fault for not having that plug in. Um, another just interesting fact is. I ran this car for over two years without this uh, this plug-in, and with the eCam, which had a milder um, cam profile, the lifters really didn't make any noise. As soon as I put in the F-cam, that more aggressive uh, profile, uh, the problem started to reveal itself, and then I think it would have lasted had I not gone crazy putting excessive preload on this one. But hey, it's pain for my education. In one of the previous videos, I also mentioned that I had a rocker stud break, so I just wanted to revisit this issue. I stand by my word, these rocker studs are trash. Um, these are the ones that came uh, from the factory with the world heads, and this one that snapped was the number one exhaust. And you'll remember me saying that the passenger side, or cylinders one through four, those uh, lifters and rockers got, got plenty of oil. And it's just funny that the side that got plenty of oil had the, uh, the rocker stud failure. But now I've got ARPs, I've had them for two years and they seem perfect. I hope you learned something. This has been super educational for me and I hope you got a little education from it too. Until next time. Ooh.